back beautiful people, it's a happy Saturday. I know it's been a while since I vlogged. I know I said I would do a Zumba on Thursday but I wasn't able to do it because of certain other personal commitments. So that Zumba is still pending. We shall do it on a new song pretty soon. Yeah. So today I was back for the workouts. I took two days break, that is Thursday and Friday. Uh, I needed the break because I was my body had legitly given up because of the back-to-back -back workout, the total exhaustion and everything. So even the trainer asked me to like take two days off and just 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 chill. Like don't exert yourself, don't do any sort of workout. Let those because I was having a very bad shoulder pain. I don't know why, or uh, because maybe for some of the workouts my form went wrong. So I was having a very bad shoulder pain, but now thankfully. It's reduced. It's not gone, but it's reduced. So today I attended two sessions. One of SNC Advanced, which is for two hours, and then that was followed by Zumba for an hour. So the two hour session for SNC Advanced was deadly. I mean, since, or maybe because I was just resuming workout after two days, I felt like it was total exhaustion hitting me left, right, and center. And um, let me tell you what the workouts were because that is the most important and interesting part. So we started off with our regular warm-ups and everything. And then the first workout of the day was pull-ups. So we had to do pull-ups for 15 minutes, as many counts as possible. So there was no count that was given, but how much ever we can, we had to push ourselves and then do it. Uh, this was followed by back squats. So now what? how back squats, so, I mean the counts for the back squats went was, we had to just do five counts, okay? But five sets of that. So now the start, the warm up set we just uh, did with the 20. So we used a 20 kg barbell for a back squat. Um, we did about five counts and then we started increasing weight. So the next set, what I did was with five kg, five kg plate, okay? So that was about uh, five, five, 10, 30 kilo back squat, five counts. Then the next rep, what I did was increase it by another five. So that was. 40 kg. So I went on till a 75 kg back squat, just 5 reps. The last 75 kg was a killer and I legitly felt like I'm, my body is just going to give up because I felt so tired after that because it's like a heavy weight back squat and trust me, legitly my, my here, this portion of the neck, not neck exactly, but the shoulder and my arms are hurting. Trust me guys, oh my. The next set, what we did was basically uh, a Metcon style. A Metcon is back to back, there would be 3 or 4 workouts and you have to do it for about 4 to 5 sets. So I don't know the time frame that was given because we just started doing because that, it was that deadly. So what all, So the Met, there were 2 sets of Metcon, Metcon 1 and Metcon 2. So for the Metcon 1, there were about 4 exercises and these included lateral burpees. Uh, what is lateral burpees is, there would be a barbell. So maybe, see, if you're doing a deadlift, then the barbell will be there. So there would be a barbell and you'll be jumping on either side and then doing a burpee. So if I start with my left, I'll do a burpee, jump over the barbell, go to the right, do the burpees over there. And this we had to do for about uh, 15 counts. Now after the burpees, this was followed by deadlift. Deadlift for 12 counts. And this was followed by hand cleans. That was uh, about um, 9 counts and then push jerk. So push jerk is nothing but you hold the barbell here and then push it all the way up in such a way that your body is down. Okay, it's, it's quite different from the, uh, to the chest press that we do. So that was about 6 counts. And uh, this had to be done for 4 sets back to back without a break. So we started off uh, with 20, 30, 30 kg deadlift and slowly I started increasing it to 40 and then 50. Uh, for the cleans I just use a 20 kg barbell and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 so 10, 10, 20, 30, 30 kg cleans and the same thing for uh, push jerk as well. Now after we were done with this set we had the Metcon 2 that was following I mean that this is the interesting part. So we had the Russian push up so this is the first time I'm doing a Russian push up so what happens in a Russian push up is you have the weight the two plates would be kept on your left and the right. You are in the regular push-up position. And what happens next is, when you're coming up, you come with a higher force in such a way that your hands are going to land. You pull your body on top in such a way that your hands are going to land on the plates. 
and then again you do a push up and in the next set what you do is again you bring your hands down that is below the plate and then do it that was a challenge because that was the first time i'm doing this particular type of push up but it was good and uh, we had to do 10 counts of this and the next is box jump so since i can't do box jump what i did was single uh, leg i had to like uh, step on with the single leg i had to step on the uh, box so that was 20 per leg that is 20, 20 in total 40 counts and this was followed by the toe to bar. I can't do toe to bar. So what we had to do was hanging leg raisers which was a 30. This was seriously a beauty, trust me guys, because the number of counts just kept increasing. So it was 10 for the push up, 40 for me actually, in total or 20 I can say, 20 per leg, 20 um, jumping onto the box and then the 30 uh, toe to bars trust me my hands are legitimately hurting i mean i can't uh, i mean i know you guys won't be able to say it but then over here like all over here and over here it's completely paining and it's red like i can't hold anything it's hurting that bad it's because of the pull-ups and the uh, toe to bar and the hanging like razors that was seriously a challenge this was for two hours and this, after all this Metcon 1 and 2 were over, the next thing what we did, did was um, hollow hold and um, yeah, hollow hold practically for 3 sets. With the stretching we concluded the SNC advanced and then there was an hour break and then I went for the Zumba. Zumba there were just 4 people today but still the energy was high, it was really good, Dhamini's class. But then I was not able to do it because my legs were like hurting because of the squats and I don't know, I feel like my body had given up because I think the two day break literally affected me left, right and center. Oh my god. But I really enjoyed working out and then I had the 4k walk and now I'm back home. So that's all guys. That was my workout of the day. I think I need to like sleep regularly, I mean sleep on time because like from past one week I'm legitly not getting about seven to eight hours of sleep. I only sleep for about five hours and I can actually see it effect in my body and also my workouts. And also I don't think I'm having pro <laughs> three liters of water. I need to get back. I need to literally get back into my schedule because I think Diwali that there was Diwali for one week. People had gone into the Diwali mode and the laziness also just crept in I feel, honestly I feel. So, I think starting from today, I'm going to be back to the grind. I hope I drink 3 liters of water, I sleep well, work out well, and I give my 100%. I, and today, guys, genuinely, genuinely, I feel that I did not give my 100%. I don't know why. Even for Zumba, I feel I did not give my 100%. Or maybe because my body was tired and mentally I was like, no, 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 you can do it more, do it more. But still, no. I don't know. So I need to like literally get into a schedule and make sure that I eat right, sleep well, drink water and also exercise well and give my 100% because if you don't give your 100% in the workout then there's no point. You're just doing about say 60-70%, no, no point guys. You should always give your 100% when you're doing something because then you can actually see the results. So that's all for the day guys. I think uh, post lunch I would be going to meet my friend and again a lot of work is gonna happen that means more calories to burn yes um i think that's all for the day i'll see you guys tomorrow and tomorrow is gonna be a more deadly day you know why because tomorrow seven to eight eight to nine is uh, snc advanced class that's two hours and immediately after the advanced class is the zumba class wish me luck i hope i survive because I'm actually dreading from right now. I even had a word with my Zumba trainer about this. I'm like, I'm really dreading it, Damni. Like tomorrow, it's back to back. Like, unlike today, where I had an hour break after the SNC advance. Tomorrow, it's not going to be there. It's going to be hustle, hustle, hustle. I hope I survive. I literally hope I survive. So guys, this is a wrap. Until tomorrow, it's a bye. And guys, take care. Eat right. Sleep well. Drink lots of water, in fact, plenty of water, and work out well. <laughs>